Hi, and welcome back to my freaking channel. It's been about a couple weeks since I posted the boyfriend application and I have gotten 821 responses. That is so much more than I expected. Essentially, in this video, we are going to see who is the best match for me. Maybe there's gonna be more than one person. Who knows? If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new because I post every Saturday and sometimes Wednesdays. Without further ado, we have a lot to get through, so let's just fucking get started. Okay, so the first question I asked everybody to fill out was their username. Um, it wasn't mandatory, you didn't have to fill it out, so I only got about 800 responses instead of the 821. Yeah, that doesn't really matter right now, let's just move on to the next question. The next thing I asked you guys was, where do you follow me? Because I posted this application on Twitter and Instagram, but I wanted to see, like, where you guys freaking follow me. Do you follow me on everything? Because if you don't, then why are you applying to be my boyfriend? Do you even love me? Because if you really love me and you wanna be my boyfriend, you would be involved in everything that I'm doing. Most people follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Only 350 of you follow me on Twitch? Wait a damn fucking second. I got 800 responses and only 600 of them follow me on YouTube? Something's not right here. If you don't follow me on YouTube, they're probably not even gonna watch this video. So you know what, if you don't follow me here, Fuck you and fuck your dog, bitch. The next thing I wanted to know is how old you guys are because I can't be out here dating a minor, so I just needed to know. And with that being said, 32 of the 800 people were minors. Thank you for being honest. Um, however, it, it's not gonna work out. I'm so sorry. We got 14 people that are over 40? Hey. What are you guys doing? The next thing I wanted to know is the gender. Although I love my girlies. I love you guys. I just, you know, I just need a man. But... Maybe you can win me over if you're a girl. So most people said male, 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 male. Make M, alpha male, your man, that guy. I have a penis, whatever you want me to be. A beefy man, you're onto something, buddy. Table leg, man, male, guy, him, he, Batman, I mean black man. Giga male, big burly male. I'm a male, I'm a man, I'm a he. <laughs> 24, that's not what I asked, babe. Not the drinking fountain, not the fucking family hub Samsung fridge. Oh my god, did this just ask for my gender? What if I identify as a lion wolf furry? I don't, I'm a male. <laughs> Henry bagged corded cylinder vacuum cleaner red. Bro, you guys are fucked. 2002 Toyota Prius. Munch. Meat popsicle. The best species to ever walk this earth. Mexican. Clearly joking, I'm a male. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. Pipple mixed with chihuahua. Triangle. Floorboard. Male, I have a nice penis. Female, but I can identify as anything you want. Okay, we got a woman. Moving on. The next question was, why does my content interest you? Because let's be real. If you're just here for the good looks, that's not deep enough for me. Do you love the person that I am? Let's find out. Because weird, quirky, uwu girls are the best. Bitch, I'm not an uwu girl. You're funny and as much of a degenerate as me and you're hot. Well edited videos, don't give a fuck attitude and great sense of humor. Wow, this is really gonna like boost my ego. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of fun reading this. I'm gonna take my time. Let me get comfortable. It's like watching a train wreck. I can't take my eyes off it. Just when I thought I've seen it all, you go and surprise me with the ultimate cringe. Your personality is something that I can respect. Also your face and ass. P.S. I'm a virgin on choice, not because I'm ugly. I grew up in a very strict home and I never wanted to do it because I was a pussy, but I will with you. P.S. My dick fat lot and juicy and black. Okay, it light skin. Not really that dark, but beauty. What? <laughs> I believe you are one in a hundred million. Your uncanny ability to be funny with your quirkiness and off the wall punchline separates you from the bunch. That and you kind of cute. Kinda. Who said that? Guy King? Hey. It doesn't? Bro, whoever this is, fuck you. <laughs> Bitch. Because you're funny and your content is different from the other buffoons on this platform. Thank you. Big boobas. Bitch, I do not have big boobas. <laughs> what content? Bitch, what the fuck? Do you not follow me on my freaking shit? Twitter, Insta, Snapchat. You literally don't even follow my YouTube. Bro, you are missing out. You're not even gonna see this because you don't follow my YouTube. You know what? Fuck you. You're just the right mix of funny, toxic, and annoying. You don't force reactions and you don't make your content solely around the fact that you're a gamer girl. You're simply a gamer who happens to be a girl. Honestly, that is such a nice thing to say. 
I really do appreciate that. Like, fucking genuinely. Who said that? Jacob? Bro, Jacob, I love you. Thank you. You give off the energy that you don't care what people think of you. Also, you're funny and determined. Thank you. Uh, that level four yeah. <laughs> Anytime I can get a peek at that voluptuous, sexually inducing nose, I get a chance to feel what it feels like being, breathing the same oxygen. Bro, who are you? Known you since you had 1k on Twitter and not once have you not been fun to interact with or watch. Also, best troll on Twitter. <laughs> Thank you. Because you're hot and I know your Mexican lips are so wet and tasty. I'm not Mexican. <laughs> if you're gonna say something like that, at least you had the freaking ethnicity, right? Your nose? Bro, why do people like my fat fucking nose? Is there like a fat nose fetish? I'm waiting patiently until the OnlyFans drops. This is the only reason your content interests me. Fuck you uh, bruno fuck you uh, i fantasize about being publicly degraded in video game lobbies <laughs> i'm a gamer you're a gamer also the food content i'm glad you like it your fat ass makes me happy i'm crippled what your tweets are fucking vile but not gonna lie you low-key funny as hell and the obvious slim thick kind of remind me of a sick but well-fed thanksgiving turkey gobble 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 gobble, gobble. That is my impression of a turkey. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. You're very ambitious and funny with your content. It really shows how much you actually enjoy streaming and putting on a show for the viewers. <laughs> Thank you. Because you're pretty and funny and always make me laugh and I haven't seen a nose that big since Pinocchio. What the hell? Usually I tend to find women only entertaining in the kitchen when something is being made. You genuinely make me laugh and your tits are huge. I mean, your fits are cool. I think you have me mistaken for a different girl. Oh my god, there are so many responses. I guess I can't read all of this right now, but like, I'm just gonna scroll. You can pause it and read if you want, but like, fuck. Look at all these responses. So anyway, the next question I asked was, how long do you last on average? Because sexual chemistry matters a little bit. Let's start with the worst answer you could have answered with. Over an hour? Yeah, I, I don't think we're compatible. Um, to be honest with you, like after 20 minutes, I'm just, I'm bored. Unless you have like a bunch of tricks up your sleeve, I'm bored. The next question I asked, how much money in total have you spent on OnlyFans subscriptions? Because let's be real, if you're spending money on another bitch, I don't want you. Period. End of story. Let's go to the answers. Mother said I couldn't use her card. Just the monthly subscriptions or everything. I'm gonna assume you spend lots of money on OnlyFans. So, um, that's fine, I guess. <laughs> you don't even want to know? Yeah, you're right. $30, but I can explain. Definitely too much. $100, Belle Delphine has me in a chokehold. I am revoking your application and you are banned from ever applying to be my boyfriend ever again. None. I'm a man of culture. That's what I like to fucking hear. Okay, it looks like a lot of people didn't spend anything. Roughly $30. Sometimes some of these TikTokers be looking mighty fine out here. Except there was this one time my shit was hacked and someone spent like $500 on some trash ass content. And I had to call my fucking credit card company and explain to them that what was going on. Shit was mad embarrassing. <laughs> okay, so you know what's so funny? So many of these people are saying zero. Zero, 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 zero. I see so many zeros. And this is proof that if I were to make an OnlyFans, I would be loaded. This is proof that I wouldn't because you people don't spend money on this kind of content. To everyone that said zero dollars, you have made it to the next challenge. A anyone that has spent money on anyone other than Markiplier, you're eliminated. <laughs> the next question I asked you guys to answer was compliment me. I want to know if my man's can say something nice about me because if you can't, fuck off. This is what you guys said. Actually, you know what? Who fucking cares about my compliments? Let's just get to the good stuff, okay? Let's freaking, let's freaking do this. The next thing I asked you guys to do was to roast me. Built like you can't swim. You're stupid for not loving me. You're actually kind of the most annoying person ever. How do you ever plan to keep a man when you drive everyone to the brink of insanity? It's not worth the Gluck Gluck 3000. I don't even know why I'm applying for this position. The tism is strong and big nose. You eat the same amount of food for a family of four. Begin by rubbing butter underneath the skin and coating with seasoning. Wait. Oh my god, you're literally giving me a recipe to like put me in the oven and roast me. Your voice is ugly sometimes? What the freaking heck? Sometimes you talk too much like a guy and I have to look at your face to remind myself you're a girl. 
I wouldn't even know where to start. Probably when you tried to sound like a dude on mic, then went back to your normal voice. I couldn't even tell the difference for a second. Gave me hella pop smoke vibes. What the fucking hell? <laughs> okay, you know what I think I'm gonna do? While I'm reading these, um, like off camera, I'll just screenshot the ones that I think are funny and I'll put more here while I pose and read over them with a voiceover. So here's my pose that you're gonna be looking at for the next minute. You just seem like you have ugly nipples and probably a bigger penis than me. You look like a frog with arthritis and Down syndrome. Your body type and personality is so attractive yet I can't get over your thinning receding hairline and those donkey teeth you have. If you had a job, it would be working at Home Depot and cutting and shaping the keys with your teeth. <laughs> Not gonna lie, your nose could be its own zip code. You have the personality of a South Park character. Please, 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 please. You're making a boyfriend application video. You live in your parents' basement. Bitch, you look like an inbred potato brain pickle munchin swamp ass having deviously handicapped off-brand Digimon character. <gasps> you look like a Five Nights at Freddy animatonic zooted on fentanyl. What the hell? Hey, the next question I asked was body count. I want to know who you're sleeping around with. Are you a freaking whore? Two, zero, one, three, four, six, five, six, seven, negative two, 20. I wonder who's the biggest. 24, 25 plus, 30, more than 10, less than 50, 50, virgin, 100, including 50 beefy men from Ram Ranch. My hand in your picture. 107. If I make it to the final round of candidates, I'll disclose. That's something a whore would say. Does hand count? Zero bitches. Three bodies in my basement, no cap. Three, I don't like giving away my energy to random girls. I fucking feel that. I'm not giving it away unless I like you. And that's, that's on fucking period, poop. I'll just say my cat follows me around the house because I know how to treat a pussy. <laughs> Keeping count is weird, duh. One. The next question I asked was, do you get lost in my eyes when you watch my videos? A lot of people said yes. A lot of people said sometimes. A lot of people said no. There was a lot of individual answers that we will go over. Only when you blink, you're not him though, bro. Fox no, the only way to do that is if we fucking are going out for ice cream. What? I've tried, however, I feel the need to scratch my eyeballs out of my face more. I mostly stare at that giant forehead. I've never seen your videos. No, those fucking RGB lights that keep fucking going blue to purple keep fucking with my ADHD. <laughs> Bro, every time I turn my camera on on Discord, that's all people say. They're like, Steph, how do you focus if these lights in front of you are fucking changing colors? I'm him. Little bro. The next question I asked was, how big is it? Let's see. Six, seven, six point five, five, nine, five point five, six, seven, eight, six on a good day. Small, leave me alone. Six point three two five, little skinny though. Gets the job done. <laughs> My brain, pretty damn big. Been hit many times in the head and no damage yet. 7.46 inches long, 6.4 inches girth. This color shaft, this color thick head. Veiny, slightly curved upwards. This colored trimmed pubes. This colored full round balls. The size of large eggs that hang about 3.1 inches down and are shaved. Light aroma of walnut mixed with healthy musk. <laughs> You're so funny. My monitor is 24 inches. I once ate an entire seven inch sub by myself in 30 seconds. They don't come in seven inches. Oh wait, did you not go to Subway? Okay. Big enough to satisfy, small enough to put in your ass? What? Your nose, about eight inches. My nose is not eight inches. Bucko. Take me out to dinner first, Stephanie. <laughs> the next thing I wanted to know were your thoughts on furries. Now, I'm typically not one to judge. However, when it comes to furries, I have lots of room to judge. Anyway, if we can't agree on that, and if you like furries, it's not something that's gonna work. So we need to get to the bottom of this before we continue, okay? Here are some answers. No, no, gay, I don't know, burn them, gross, hell no, hate them, eh, dogs are cool, smash, no comment, fuck them, weirdos. Big fan will support you if you decide to swing that way. If you're a furry, then I love them. If not, I don't care. You're the only good one. They remind me of your eyebrows. I could be your wormy. Not my thing, but I do want to make you shake your legs uncontrollably like a dog. Oh, 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 oh. If I say what I want to say, I will be banned from the internet. I am a recovering furry. Okay, seems like we're all kind of on the same page. Okay, and the last thing that I asked you guys to do, if you wanted to, was to say something for YouTube. Here are the things that you guys want to say. A lot of highs. We've got a lot of highs. High, high, 
Hi, mom. Nah. Subscribe to that girl gato. She's mine. She's mine. Sub and turn on the notifs, you cucks. Hi, sisters. She should be with Brian SM15. <laughs> Dance like there's no tomorrow. My new Twitter is at Cam Lightskin. Say hi, please. I mean you, babe. P.S. I am or might not be jerking off to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Subscribe, you fucks. I bet a lot of you aren't even subbed, you fucking losers. Nor literally. <laughs> I'm just gonna be genuine here. I think you deserve to make content full time and be able to quit your job and be stable. You're the only person I watch consistently and the only one I look forward to on Saturdays. <laughs> Thank you. If you never caught a curable STD, you aren't trying hard enough. What? I need $100,000 million. Me fucking too, bestie. Poop gang in the comments. <laughs> Everyone go comment freaking poop gang if you even watch the video to the end. She's not making an OnlyFans, stop asking. Steph, aka that girl gato, is my girlfriend now, so everyone back off. Okay, now's the time where I'm gonna stop recording for a little bit, go through all of these individually and really see which one stands out the most. And then in the next clip, I'll reveal the winner. Drum roll, please. Congratulations to Mike. You are the winner of my boyfriend application. <laughs> Mike is a simple man. He doesn't have TikTok, so he doesn't follow me on TikTok. And my content interests him because he likes the fact that I'm not afraid to be myself on camera. However, all of that comes second to the fact that I have an absolute dumb truck putting the gyat in ghetto. On average, he lasts about 30 minutes. <laughs> and for your information, the only woman that he wants to spend money on is me and my obsession with Harvey's. Mike says, in the words of Drake, sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on, that's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. Not to mention in the words of Kanye West, you've got an ass that can swallow up a G-string. His body count totals up to five women. And for your information, he asked all of them to rate their relationship on a scale of one to five stars. And he's got an average average of 4.7 stars. So, sounds like Mike knows what he's doing. I couldn't help myself but ask Mike if he gets lost in my eyes when he watches my videos. His answer was, I can't help but get lost in the majestic twinkle that darts across your eyes like a shooting star in the night sky every time you smile and say the words, dance like there's no tomorrow. I asked him how big it was. He said, Miss Gatto, how dare you ask such a personal question? At least take some time to whine, dine, and get to know me instead of treating me like one of your Korean corn dogs. <laughs> Seven inches. The one thing that he wanted to say for YouTube was, look at me I'm the boyfriend now and just like that Mike you're my boyfriend <laughs> all right that's gonna be it congratulations to the winner to everyone else that applied thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to send an application and to make this video what it is truly like you guys are turning this fantasy of a YouTube content creator that I have into a reality so like, I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I think when this video goes out, maybe we're at 70,000 subscribers. So that's pretty fucking bonkers. And I just want to say thank you. I love you. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Dance like there's no tomorrow. tomorrow.